I now have backup cameras. That is the one on the back of the truck by the license plate. I can keep an eye on a trailer. Mostly from I'm doing turns and stuff, I have to turn sharp. I can keep an eye on how sharp I am. And then that's on the back of the trailer up on the top. And that's just kind of a view of, I have the uh, tailgate down right now. So that's all the, all the junk on my tailgate. I might adjust that. I'll have to see when I put the tailgate up how close it is to the back of the trailer. Let's see if I want to use it to be able to see where the back of the trailer is or push it out a little bit and see more of what's behind me. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I get kind of fascinated with new things. But... I can tell my brake lights are working now. I'm actually surprised at how much this little backup camera picks up on my... This one's mounted to my license plate. I can actually see down... Well, not really down, but... Both sides of the trailer, really. And then some I had the ducks out, and I could see almost the whole duck pen that was on the side of the trailer. I've got this one here mostly for see what my hitch is doing. If I have to turn sharp so I'm not getting into anything. I don't like having gadgets so Things like this are my my thing. I pretty much have a whole whole slab up against the window here. By the time I leave town, I need to get a different mount for my phone so I can stick my phone up on the window. And I probably get a GPS too to keep better track of where I'm at. Switch channel there. And that's the back of my trailer. And we'll see where I'm backing up. Just right. Place just right to where the uh, little legs I put on the tailgate kind of frame the picture there. So where that's at, it's almost totally flush against the back of the trailer on the bar, bottom part of the picture. That's about a parking space and a half out, so plenty of room to see where I'm backing up if I need to. Or if anybody's behind me or any of that. I don't know if I want to keep it here like this. Or actually right at the back of the trailer or push it up some so I can see farther behind me. I haven't quite figured that one out yet might push it up so that the camera is right about even Let's see right about even with the legs because I know what kind of distance that is so I can get close enough to stuff but I'll put it up let me see a little bit farther behind me I don't know we'll see I was just trying to put some stuff together for a video here and show off my new thing that well new but it's been sitting in a box in the truck for oh probably four or five months just finally got around to actually installing it hey there everybody um slacking on stuff again uh finally got my 401k stuff figured out so should be getting that here hopefully by the weekend and we can start moving around a little bit and taking some side trips and show you all a little more of what's around here other than just me and the duck sitting at the park I'm sure y'all had enough of that by now 
And then with that, I'll be getting a bunch of more stuff for my resin and looking at doing, making some soap stuff too. Possibly, maybe even like some beard oil. See how that goes. It's kind of a think of what all I can do that's not super hard and doesn't take up too much space to do while we're on the road. But hopefully we can get into some better content here sometime next week. I know I'll spend probably a couple days just doing a lot of resin stuff with the new molds. Just to see what everything looks like and make some samples of stuff to put up so people can get an idea of what I can make. A few pictures of some stuff that I did today. Or no stuff I did yesterday pulled out of the mold today and then do a little bit of the some of the stuff I did today real quick I won't spend too much time on it for y'all but a couple different things and not sure if I like it or not but we'll, we'll let you see it and see what y'all think truck stop here last night shortly after I pulled in here a fire truck came in and there was a couple sheriffs came in then the ambulance came in the fire chief came in and all of a sudden done with I ended up with like six sheriffs in here but the ambulance was only here for a few minutes took off it never had lights on or nothing and the fire chief left and the, once the fire truck left and kind of get an idea of what was going on it was looked like they uh, must have found a body in a looked like a hot shot truck like one of them sprinter van type things it was parked over in the far corner of the parking lot and Someone must have had a heart attack or something and but once all the fire left it was just about six cops sitting there and they moved a couple vehicles around and then roped everything off with yellow tape so I'm assuming by the fact that the ambulance wasn't in a hurry and all they did was got out walked over there for a few and came back so they didn't take anyone, so I'm assuming they must have found a body over there. Uh, I didn't really get any pictures of it. It just kind of didn't really seem right to be taking pictures. I'm not totally sure that's what happened, but I'll find out in the next day or two when I go into the store sometime. I'll head in there and I'll go to get a drink or something and find out what happened, but I'd pretty much be willing to put money on that's what they did that's what they found so I'll fill y'all in when I know more about that doing a whole lot lately like I said short on money so once I get the money going everything will get better and we'll get to be doing some stuff and a little more traveling while we're up here and then end of October we'll be heading south so we'll get a lot more a lot better content starting then be able to see some different things on the way so 
Thanks for sticking around, and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.